Bereshit, Genesis 24. And Avraham was old and well stricken in age, and Yahuwah had blessed at Avraham in all things. And Avraham said unto his eldest servant of his house that ruled over all that he had, Put, I pray you, your hand under my thigh, and I will make you swear by Yahuwah, the Elohim of heaven and the Elohim of the earth, that you shall not take a woman unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanim among whom I dwell, but you shall go unto my country and to my kindred and take a woman unto my son Yitshak. And the servant said unto him, Peradventure the woman will not be willing to follow me unto this land. Must I needs bring at your son again unto the land from whence you came? And Avraham said unto him, Beware that you bring not at my son thither again. Yahuwah, Elohim of heaven, which took me from my father's house and from the land of my kindred, and which spoke unto my unto me, and that swore unto me, saying, Unto your seed will I give at this land. He shall send his angel before you, and you shall take a woman unto my son from thence. And if the woman will not be willing to follow you, then you shall be clear from this my oath. Only bring not at my son thither again. And the servant put at his hand under the thigh of Avraham his master and swore to him concerning that matter. And the servant took ten camels of the camels of his master and departed, for all the goods of his master were in his hand. And he arose and went to Aram, Naharaim, unto the city of Nacor. And he made his camels to kneel down without the city by a well of water at the time of the evening, even the time that women go out to draw water. And he said, O Yahuwah Elohim of my master Avraham, I pray you, Send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Avraham. Behold, I stand here by the well of water and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. And let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say, let down your pitcher, I pray you, that I may drink. And she shall say, Drink, and I will give your camels drink also. Let the same be she that you have appointed for your servant Yitshak, and thereby shall I know that you have showed kindness unto my master. And it came to pass, before he had done speaking, that, behold, Rivka came out, who was born to Bethuel, son of Milka, the woman of Nacor, Avraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. And the damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin. Neither had any man known her. And she went down to the well and filled her pitcher and came up. And the servant ran to meet her and said, Let me, I pray you, drink a little water of your pitcher. And she said, Drink, my lord. And she hasted and let down her pitcher upon her hand and gave him drink. And when she had done giving him drink, she said, I will draw water for your camels also until they have done drinking. And she hasted and emptied her pitcher into the trough and ran again unto the well to draw water, and drew for all his camels. And the man, wondering at her, held his peace, to wit whether Yahuwah had made his journey prosperous or not. And it came to pass, as the camels had done drinking, 
that the man took a golden earring of half a shekel weight and two bracelets for her hands of ten shekels weight of gold and said, Whose daughter are you? Tell me, I pray you, is there room in your father's house for us to lodge in? And she said unto him, I am the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milcah, which she bare unto Nacor. She said moreover unto him, We have both straw and provender enough, and room to lodge in. And the man bowed down his head, and worshipped Yahuwah. And he said, Blessed be Yahuwah Elohim of my master Avraham, who has not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth. I being in the way, Yahuwah led me to the house of my master's brethren. And the damsel ran and told them of her mother's house these things. And Rivkah had a brother, and his name was Lavan. Lavan ran out unto the man, unto the well. And it came to pass, when he saw at the earring and at bracelets upon his sister's hands, and when he heard the at words of Rivka, his sister, saying, Thus spoke the man unto me, that he came unto the man, and behold, he stood by the camels at the well. And he said, Come in, you blessed of Yahuwah. Wherefore stand you without? For I have prepared the house and room for the camels. And the man came into the house, and he ungirded his camels, and gave straw and provender for the camels, and water to wash his feet and the men's feet that were with him. And there was set meat before him to eat, but he said, I will not eat until I have told my errand. And he said, Speak on. And he said, I am Avraham's servant, and Yahuwah has blessed at my master greatly, and he has become great. And he has given him flocks and herds and silver and gold and men servants and maid servants and camels and asses. And Sarah, my master's woman, bore a son to my master when she was old. And unto him has he given at all that he has. And my master made me swear, saying, You shall not take a woman to my son of the daughters of the Kenanim, in whose land I dwell. But you shall go unto my father's house and to my kindred and take a woman unto my son. And I said unto my master, Peradventure the woman will not follow me. And he said unto me, Yahuwah, before whom I walk, will send his angel with you and prosper your way. And you shall take a woman for my son of my kindred and of my father's house. Then shall you be clear from this, my oath, when you come to my kindred. And if they give not you one, you shall be clear from my oath. And I came this day unto the well and said, O Yahuwah Elohim of my master Avraham, if now you do prosper my way which I go, behold, I stand by the well of water, and it shall come to pass that when the virgin comes forth to draw water, and I say to her, Give me, I pray you, a little water of your pitcher to drink, and she say to me, Both drink you, and I will also draw for your camels. Let the same be the woman whom Yahuwah has appointed out for my master's son. And before I had done speaking in my heart, behold, Rivkah 
came forth with her pitcher on her shoulder, and she went down unto the well and drew water. And I said unto her, Let me drink, I pray you. And she made haste, and let down her pitcher from her shoulder, and said, Drink, and I will give your camels drink also. So I drank, and she made the camels drink also. And I asked her and said, Whose daughter are you? And she said, The daughter of Bethuel, Nacor's son, whom Milcah bore unto him. And I put the earring upon her face and the bracelets upon her hands. And I bowed down my head and worshipped Yahuwah and blessed at Yahuwah Elohim of my master Avraham, which had led me in the right way to take at my master's brother's daughter unto his son. And now if ye will deal kindly and truly with my master, tell me, and if not, tell me, that I may turn to the right hand or to the left. Then Lavan and Bethuel answered and said, The thing proceeds from Yahuwah. We cannot speak unto you bad or good. Behold, Rivkah is before you. Take her and go, and let her be your master's son's woman, as Yahuwah has spoken. And it came to pass that when Avraham's servant heard their words, he worshipped Yahuwah, bowing himself to the earth. And the servant brought forth jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment and gave them to Rivqua. He gave also to her brother and to her mother precious things. And they did eat and drink, he and the men that were with him, and tarried all night, and they rose up in the morning, and he said, Send me away unto my master. And her brother and her mother said, Let the damsel abide with us a few days, at the least ten. After that she shall go. And he said unto them, Hinder me not, seeing Yahuwah has prospered my way. Send me away that I may go to my master. And they said, We will call the damsel and inquire at her mouth. And they called Rivqua and said unto her, Will you go with this man? And she said, I will go. And they sent away at Rivqua, their sister, and her nurse, and Avraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed at Rivqua, and said unto her, You are our sister, be the mother of thousands of millions, and let your seed at possess the gate of those which hate them. And Rivqua rose and her damsels, and they rode upon the camels and followed the man. And the servant took at Rivqua and went his way. And Yitshak came from the way of the well Be'er, La Chai Ro'i, for he dwelt in the country of the Negev. And Yitshak went out to meditate in the field in the evening. And he lifted up his eyes and saw. And behold, the camels were coming, and Rivqua lifted up at her eyes. And when she saw at Yitshak, she lighted off the camel. For she had said unto the servant, What man is this that walks in the field to meet us? And the servant had said, It is my master. Therefore she took a veil and covered herself. And the servant told Yitshak at all things that he had done. And Yitshak brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took at Rivqua, and she became his woman. 
and he loved her. And Yitzhak was comforted after his mother's death.